Hey guys, this is my first live stream and I am, I'm just winging it here. Um, I hope you'll ask questions. I'm going to have to figure this out as we go. I uh, I've jumped on here because I just got off a TV interview. Larry O'Connor has a new show um, and I was talking about Alec Baldwin, but I thought I haven't really gotten into all those comments that you all left me yesterday about my story about the White House Visitor Center and Donald Trump's photo not having an end date and Joe Biden not being on it at all. So I thought we could just talk about that here for a few minutes while I've got all my lights and TV stuff already. And you can see I've got the lavalier mic. So let me know. I um, Let's see if we've got some people watching. I'm going to open up the YouTube app so that I can see when I have questions. This was recommended to me since the computer is kind of, as you can see, a few feet away. And as soon as I have questions, as soon as I get some people on here, I will, let's see, open up my channel. YouTube That's my story said. yesterday. If anybody has any ideas, let me know while I figure this out. I was just watching a um, how to go live YouTube tutorial. Here's my channel. Here's my live. Okay, there's four of you watching. There's Thank you channel. for watching. Okay, there's four of you watching. All right, we're going to turn this, turn down the volume. So I put on Tennessee Patriot. Hey, um, hey, Tennessee Patriot. Thank you very much for being my very first comment in my very first live. I really appreciate that. And um, so um, for those of you who've been following me, I'm going to go, well, I'll top into questions on any of these stories that I've been doing lately. But those of you who've been following my tech issues, I'd like to say that this last TV interview that I just did worked out so well. Oops, that was a, a light I just hit over. I have the IFB that we've been working on for a while. Um, my former TV news, as a former TV news reporter, this is what I've always used to listen to the anchors. And I finally got this extra long cable so that I can have it in my computer and have it fit in me while I'm over here, which is a couple feet away from my computer. So that was a really exciting thing. Um, and the lavalier mic, which you can see here, um, for some reason, when I started on the Skype today, that's how the TV interviews are done on Skype, um, it said uh, it, my computer was taking too much energy or too much power. So, but I was worried not to use my mic. So I put it into a different USB cord. So those are my tech things of the day. Um, and let's see. Oh, Tennessee, pa Ed Powell, thank you so much. Okay, Ed has been encouraging me to do a live stream. And I texted him 10 minutes ago and said, wait, how do I do this for my computer? Because I have all my makeup on, I blue dry my hair for this TV interview. I want to take advantage of it because Ed has been advising me kindly and generously, helping me so much in everything. Ed, thank you. So he told me I needed to do a live stream. He told me I needed two people. And so Ed, if this doesn't work, We'll figure out how we're going to do it the other way. But you said I can use my phone to take the questions since I don't have to switch down here into my computer. So thank you, Ed, for doing that. Um, so Tennessee Patriot, Trump is still my president. like to ask you if you want to appear on live stream yard panel this weekend. I don't know what that is. Will you leave that in the questions? What is live stream yard panel? Since this is my first live stream I'm not familiar with them. Um, I know my, you know, Penguin Six, who has been helping me enormously, um, is doing one right now. It's how I really got inspired to do it this second. Obviously, I also because I did this TV interview and took the time to put on hair and makeup. When I say put on hair and makeup, it takes a while to do TV makeup. So um, Penguin Six is live walking across the city to his bank. And, and I was watching him do this. I thought, okay, I'm going to do this too. But, and I would love to be outside like he is, but I don't know. So my point, Tennessee Patriot, is my experience with live streams is Penguin Six telling me, watching his and Ed Powell telling me to, I need to start doing this. So will you fill me in a little bit more details? Uh, Denise Green. Hello, Emily. Penguin Six told me about you this morning. Loved your post on the POTUS photos. Oh my gosh, Denise, that's so nice of you. Thank you so much. Um, isn't Penguin Six the nicest man? Obviously, his name is Andrew. Um, he is just so kind. And I met him 
Um, he is a friend of my friend. They lived in both my friend lived in Hong Kong, and that's how she knows Andrew. And said she told me that he's the nice. When I was talking about starting a YouTube channel, she's like, he's so nice, and he will help you. And so if you go on his page, you'll see a live stream, which I so I shouldn't say this is my first live stream. This is my first live stream of my own. My first live stream on YouTube was with Penguin Six, the first time we met, and he spent hours with me telling me about YouTube. I took so many notes. He told me what apps I needed. He told me what to do. And he has continued to encourage me, Emily, go do this video, go do this. I ask him questions all the time. He is just the kindest man. So all of you who follow him and watch his videos, which I was a big fan, I am still a big fan, but that's how I knew him is from watching what he does around Washington every day. Um, just to know that in real life, he is the kindest person truly. And um, I can't say enough good things about him. So thanks, Denise, for like my story yesterday. And like I said, I was going, I think I wrote this in the story, but if I didn't, I was I was going to the White House Visitor Center originally because I was looking for Trump souvenirs because there seemed to be no Trump souvenirs sold at any stores around the White House, which seems a little strange. And I'd gotten a tip on Twitter that the bobblehead for Trump was completely missing from the main White House gift store. So I was going there to see that. And then I thought, well, let me go see what other stores are selling. And I was headed down to the White House Visitor Center, which is like a four blocks away, walking. And I said, I texted Penguin Six, said, this is what I'm doing. And he said, well, while you're there, you should go look at the president's wall and see if they've updated Trump. Now, I had never heard about this before. I hadn't followed. I know he's done two videos on it, one like nine months ago, one four months ago. Um, which I linked to in the description of my story because I went back to see what he was talking about. And that's how I figured it out. And so I went in there, um, first looked for the Trump memorabilia, souvenirs for sale at the gift shop. There are none. But really, the most, they, only have Obama, they only have Obama, of course. Um, it's mostly historical, I will say, though. And then I went to see the wall and was like, okay, Penguin Six is totally right. This is very strange. <laughs> it's 2022 and it's, it has a start date of 2017 and doesn't end and there's no Biden. So um, then I went over, as you saw, I went over to the information desk, which is the National Park Service and asked them for help. And I said, I'd like to know what's going on. And before I could even get the words out, she was like, as you saw, she asked me not to do video. So I didn't get to show this to you, but she said, we're working on the. We're working on it. The problem is we have to take out the entire wall to update that one end date and to update Biden. And she said we've been trying to do it. We're going to get to it. Um, then she told me all this stuff about COVID. Well, we just opened on Mondays, and I said, "What do you mean you just opened on Monday? We just opened tours for Monday." And I said, "What does that have to do with the president's wall?" And so I really don't know. There's so many reasons that she kept saying the president's wall was not updated. But the main one was that it's so big, they can't just do like update the photo 2017, 2022, uh, where are we now? 2021. It would have to say, it would have to take out the whole thing and put Biden on it. So I don't know. You guys also in the comments think it's a really strange. It's taking this long to do something so simple, but um, and also, I think it's so strange. This whole thing blew up in the president's wall when I started looking into it on this TikTok. And it has like millions of views on it. And that's how people start figuring it out. And so you, they've got people come to the information desk. It's obviously all the time as you started answering my question before I asked it. So you would think that they would just do it, prioritize it, since the public keeps asking about it. You would think. Anyway, I will go. Oh, my gosh. All these people, thank you guys so much for doing this with me. Um, I'm feeling more confident. And if you let me know in the comments if I'm doing something technically wrong, I'll fix it too. Um, Tyler Outman. Hello, Emily. Yeah, it gets a lot of attention doing live stream. Oh, okay. That's why they're telling me to do it. <laughs> okay. Well, that makes that, that explains it. Because first of all, I, I now that I see how it's so easy, I had such a barrier. Ed knows. I kept asking him, how do I see the comments? How do I write it? And um, now that I see that it's it's simple, I, I can do this more often. And I did not know that it gets a lot of attention. So thank you for telling me the, the reason that people do this. Um, Tennessee, pa Tennessee Patriot just opened discussions live on a six-person panel. Oh, okay. Um, let me know. I don't, 
I'm not sure how to, you can contact me, tweet to me maybe, Emily Miller, or leave it in the comments how I can get in touch. Let me know. Ron Ruffin, you will be great live. Thank you, Ron. I mean, I did live TV, obviously, for many years as a former TV reporter, and you get used to just having know, knowing your story and being able to speak to the audience. Um, but YouTube is a whole different world, and I've, I've had a steep learning curve on this, um, and I'm getting used to it. But as you know, like we all, I do, I watch YouTube, not TV now. And um, so as a TV reporter, it's a shift for me, and I need to one of the biggest shifts i'll say and those of you who've been following my i think it's three weeks now or four weeks of being on a youtube channel the biggest change for me is not having a professional staff around me i'm used to having a cameraman behind me not a camera attached to my computer i'm used to having someone put this on me and test it and make sure it works as opposed to asking you if you can hear me um you know professional tv you've got the professionals and then they edit the video for you um not to say that being a reporter is not TV reporter is not is hard. You know, of course, I would have to still get the story, do the interviews, report the story, write the script, perform on air, but I was backed by professionals. And so that's why it's it, it's a scarier, I think, for for those of us who've done it that way to jump into YouTube because suddenly it's just help me. Like, how do I buy a light? How do I know that you can hear me? So thank you for bearing with me as I get into this. No quarter 17. Hey. Um, Tennessee Patriot. And like to ask Penguin Sticks as well for an interview on my live stream. Okay. And what's going on in the country. Got it. Okay. I will pass that along to him. Ed Powell. What's the mood in DC about the midterms? Well, Ed, um, they, you know, it's, it's, that's a very good question. The mood. Um, it's all anybody talks about. That's it is the midterm elections and each specific election obviously going around among the country. Um, the consensus I would say in DC is that the Republicans are gonna take the house back. And that's sort of the establishment Washington assumption of what you hearing people say that they will get enough seats to take the house, the house back. And then a lot of this committee investigations like the January 6th one, like the COVID one are going to be ramped up by the Democrats in the fall going into January when they lose the House. That's kind of the consensus of what's going on around Washington. As for the Senate, no one's quite sure how that's going to go. Um, it's looking good for Republicans taking the Senate. And obviously in midterm elections, it generally, the opposing, the minority party wins, takes back some power. Um, that's what's usually, and especially we've had all three House, Senate, and White House, and the Democrat for the past two years. So generally, that is what happens, and it is looking good. And But everyone in Washington is a lot of uncertainty because we have the government funding, we've got all these committee investigations, and all these things happening that we won't know until November who's going to be in charge in January. Because always remember, there's those three months when people, the party that's still in power can take control. So I will say that every conversation everywhere I go is just about these elections and not so much macro about the big picture, but specifically, you know, the election in Pennsylvania, the election in Georgia, um, you know, the, the close ones, the ones that people are really focusing on. And um, so, Ed, thank you for the question. Washington, D.C., Arlingtonville. Congrats, first live stream. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, let's see how, so far, I guess I haven't made any like technical errors. It, I, um, I just followed the directions on this thing. Um, no quarter 17 is very strange to say the least, and they won't be truthful. Well, I don't know that they're not truthful. We don't know that they're not truthful. Um, it is very, we're talking about the president's board um, at the White House Visitor Center. I, I, I think that the, the information desk lady from the National Park Service was telling the truth that if they have to take out the whole board to fix it. There were a lot of reasons. Obviously, the people sitting at the information board are not the one in, in ah, sitting at the information desk are not the ones in charge of this whole situation. They're the ones who have to face the public and ask the questions. So what I want to update everyone is after I did my video yesterday and report and posted that and sent it also out my sub .com if you want to read more detail about that and my other stories. Anyway, after I did, you guys had so many questions that were really, I thought, very 
pertinent and in, in important, like when was Obama's updated when he left office? When was um, Trump's put on the board? Like what is the normal time frame for these things to happen? So I contacted the uh, media relations for the National Park Service, called them. It was a holiday yesterday, in DC, oh, federal holiday yesterday, Columbus Day, whatever they call it now, Indigenous Day. Um, so they weren't there, but they have an email for reporters. So I sent an email with those questions, and I'm hoping to get a response. And when I do, I think that'll give us more information on what is a normal process of taking down the board and changing it. And... Um, if this is genuinely COVID taking two years to do, or there's something else. Um, FJB, you're doing great, Emily. Thank you. Don't stress too much about this channel or the lighting. We're going to watch regardless. You're doing great. Just relax. You're a natural. I'm embarrassed to read that out loud because it's such a kind comment. That is so kind. Thank you. Encouragement means so much. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Okay. Well, I have done my first live stream. And the only reason I'm ending it now is because at 1.30, I'm interviewing someone for a story I'm writing. And um, he, the man I'm interviewing, is a firefighter. And so he has to be on call. So it's at 1.30, and I'm going to have to jump off and do that. And I really appreciate all of you doing this with me. You've gotten me over the hump of doing my first live stream. Thank you so much for jumping in. Thank you so much for jumping in with the comments. I'll do your list. It's really easy. So thank you. And thank you for the kindness. Thank you for the support. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, I guess you probably already subscribed if you got this, but thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you for the support and thank you for jumping in the comments. I really appreciate it. And I will update you when I hear back from the media relations at the National Park Service on the President's Wall. All right. Thank you so much.